friends, it's Nancy, and I am working on my day book for 2022. Let me just grab it so you can see the cover. So it's uh, made from a vintage Singer sewing book from 1949. And I made a new spine, new curved spine, two and a half inches across. And uh, it's going to be hollow back. And this is a giant book. So um, I've decided to, to make it this big so that I would have 12 signatures. Oh, something just went flying. I would have 12 signatures, one for every month. And I have... Uh, when we were together last, I was gluing these calendar pages to paper to make them a little stiffer. So I've got January done. Actually, I have um, little fabric and lace tabs on all of the, the pages. Uh, but I haven't got, I haven't got all of the um, calendars down and stitched and I haven't knotted off my threads and stuff so um but what I thought was I'm just going to work on one signature at a time so that it's really um like it's it's faster to do things uh in a way that's what do you call that economy of scale so it's faster if you do the same task over and over and over again. Uh, so I'm slowing it down um, just so I, it really, you know, gives my creativity a chance to expand and stretch. Um, so these pages, they're kind of a, a, almost like paper that would be a, a, a big envelope could be made from. But this was actually placemats. I have no idea where they came from. But I was able to cut them down to the uh, correct size. Uh, I had a template here somewhere. Does anybody remember where I put it? Because one of the issues is... This was, see, it was a placemat with these scalped edges, but some, something got on that one. Milk of magnesia or something. <laughs> so that one got tossed in the pile over here. I had a template to help me figure out. Oh, my word. What did, what could I have done with it? I mean, I just, just made it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. So this is the template. The pages individually are 10 and 5 inches, 10 and 5 eighths inches tall and 7 and 5 eighths inches wide. So it's 15 and a quarter inches. Um, so even this big computer, you know, dot matrix printing paper is too small. Um, I had to glue a little edge on to make a, a template. But what I thought I'd do, and I did this in, in um, a cookbook last, in the summer, I think, where I pieced together papers from um, that lady's uh, estate sale, papers that I bought from her estate sale, and uh, I pieced them together patchwork style to make pages. I want this to be primarily a writing journal. So what I got out was I got a couple, I did save, I think four pages from the original text block. I don't know why I didn't save more. Maybe I thought I was only going to do four signatures before I decided to expand it. This was two pages that I flip flopped because I wanted this on the front instead of this. And I took another piece of paper and just uh, scallop, used a scallop punch to um, combine the two together and give it some ink. So I only kept four pages, so I can't even put a book page in every signature, just in, in three or four. Anyway, well, that's weird. Some of these are shorter. 
I wonder if I cut them down for some reason. So I still need to cut that down a bit. And these ones, these ones are just a little shy. Um, but what I thought I would do is use up some of the many, many, many vintage uh, pieces of writing paper and um, stationery. So this one's got scalloped edge. I won't be. Well, I guess I could use it. And then stitch it all together. And you know, it's a sewing journal, so why not? Um, so I would put. This is a repeat because, like I said, I, I've done this before, but maybe there's some new people. Well, maybe you can go that way. And Where's my book weight? Hmm? I'll just put this punch. Okay. Um, I'm just going to run a little bit of glue here. got a little stain on it and it doesn't look nice. And this one's got Pennsylvania Dutch recipes on it. Ooh, pie. I like pie. And like I said, I'm going to stitch this. Not that it needs stitching, you know, for strength, but just that because it's a sewing journal and... Wind is really blowing out there. Okay. I want something long. Move you so I can cut that. And I have a lot of long memo pads too. I should drag those out. <laughs> Just 
got home from work and I'm scatterbrained today. I had to step away from the computer at work. I was I had the dumbs. <laughs> You know what? I have a little memo pad with snowmen on it. So if I move that up, I can use my snowman. Hang on, let me get a snowman. There, I found it. I can use that because there will definitely be snowmen. I'm going to move you back down, put a snowman at the top. There will definitely be snowmen in January here. I'm going to trim a little bit more, just a fraction of a fraction. Well, maybe I'll glue this down and then I'll trim it off this edge. Um, because I don't want to cover up the pie recipe. Or maybe I'll put it on the back. I could do that. That's an even better idea. And I won't cover up the snowmen either. Now, I need one more piece for there. Ooh, here's a good one. Yeah, I could just cut a piece of this floral there.
Wish I had more space. Ah! I move some stuff here. Inches is good, I guess. I know you can't see me because I'm off camera. <laughs> and about five inches. Put it this way so the flowers don't interfere with my snowman. There we go. So uh, let me pause while I stitch this. Okay, so I did a little bit of just straight stitching and I did a little bit of zigzag and there we go. I'm just gonna tie some of these things off. Like I said, this isn't the purpose of the stitching isn't to secure the pages, it's just to um, embellish the pages. And I think in that other journal I was talking about, I actually did patchwork pages for all of my pages. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. I think it's going to be okay for me to have some smaller pages, so I might use some. Um, you know, bigger sheets of um, ledger, or I might have some pages from a bigger water watercolor book, pat tablet, um, maybe some legal sized paper. I don't. Know. I'm just planning January right now. We don't have to get carried away. And it just dawned on me, I've got a lot of blue on this page. So maybe I want to keep my colors consistent with for the month at least. So maybe January's pages are all going to be blue. No, nah, that's silly. We need color. We need lots of color. This is a patchwork. This isn't. I don't know what it isn't. <laughs> I can't think of anything intelligent to say. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I've had the dumbs. I'm not going to ink anything either. Um, I'm not going for a distressed look. I do like distress, um, a distress appearance, but mm. not in this one, because this is going to be a, a journal I turn to every day. It's going to be a utility journal.
I do have a lot of stationery that I've collected over the years because I've always, always, always loved paper. I've got a knot in here. So I can't bear to throw anything away. Hopefully I'll make a dent in it by making all these pages. Clear out some space. I was also thinking that every once in a while I could put an envelope down and use it, uh, uh, like sew it for here, for example, but leave it an envelope so that I can put stuff in it. That would be cool. Two more. Okay, there we are, page one. I'll just flip it over and using this tool, flatten out my holes. this way. It didn't, didn't look like it was going to go very easily. Hmm. I'm going to have to score that, aren't I? Let me just grab my ruler and my tool. What did I do wrong? Let me try this. It's just really close to that sewn edge is the problem. know better next time. Stay away from the center. The cat's going crazy because Doug's home. He's happy to see his daddy. Well, I can't do anything the easy way, can I?
Okay. Well, it's close. They say close is only good in hand grenades and can't remember the other thing. <laughs> shoes and hand grenades that's what it is peel some of that glue off well that's pretty good how are we doing for time well let's see if we can put one more together Okay. I like that. And I have some pink Oh, there it is on the floor. because of course I want the flowers on top. Flip this over. Make sure that's even.
All right, now. This might be a good place to put one of those longer ones that I have. Hold on while I go look. Well, I couldn't really find anything that was long enough. Um, it, I was going to have like half an inch at the end missing. So I'm just going to piece these two together. And I need them to be, oh, around about three inches. And once again, I've gotten myself into a bit of a mess. I'm going to turn this over. And that way, none of that is covered up. Looks like I have to square this edge up just a smidge rooney. Oh! <laughs> Rats. Okay. Should I just move it again? Oh, my word. Okay. Square this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, this time there will be no stitching at that center line, but I'll just show you. This should fold easier than the last one. Okay, so 
I will um, do the stitching on this. And I was thinking, I was thinking I might add this here. later I can. That might be just too much pink. I found some country diary memos. It doesn't look very country diary to me, but I might add some of those. Okay, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, next time I come back, I hope I'll have a lot more accomplished. <laughs> uh, take care. We'll talk to you again soon.